Victoria's Country Fire Authority and Dairy Australia present Prepare Your Dairy Farm for Fire Threat. This video will bring together some useful tips to help you prepare for the coming fire season. Many dairy farmers in Gippsland had fire plans and were well prepared before the February 2009 bushfires. When fire affected the region, their preparations resulted in much less fire damage to their farms and a quicker recovery to business as usual. CFA and Dairy Australia have captured these local lessons in this video and the Prepare Your Dairy Farm for Fire Threat Toolkit. Preparation Every dairy farm, whether in high rainfall or irrigated country, needs a written fire survival plan. Your plan should be well understood and practised by all who work on your property. Remember to include it in training for new staff. Make sure your plan covers preparation, response and recovery. Here are some preparation tips. At the start of the fire season, identify a suitable refuge paddock, such as a green summer crop in the middle of your farm, with good laneway access. Have a clear plan about how and when animals will be moved. Slash and spray along fences and clear rubbish and debris regularly from around your property. Fencing may be lost in a fire and it can be hard to calculate your replacement needs on the spot. You can use the mud map in the toolkit to record in advance the approximate length of fencing on your property especially around your outer perimeter. Keep an approximate inventory of your feed and chemical stocks, including a note of where any dangerous or flammable substances are stored. Consider your safer storage options for these items well before the fire season. In a crisis situation, you will need a generator or pump that works easily. This may mean a generator for the dairy shed. Think about your needs in advance. Some farmers found great benefit in marking the milking herd so they could be easily identified at first milking after the fire event. Check access to your property. Make a note in your plan of which gates are wide enough for fire trucks. These preparations should greatly reduce any disruption to your dairy business after a fire event. Responding to fire threat. During the fire season, you will need to check warnings regularly. While CFA will do its best to provide official warnings, the situation may change quickly and you should not wait to receive a warning. These are Victoria's fire danger ratings. They help to show how fire risk changes with predicted weather conditions, alert you to potential danger and help you know what actions to take to keep safe. Remember, if you are located in a high fire risk area and code red conditions are predicted, the safest option is to move livestock and your family early in the morning or the night before. During the fire danger period, there are various legal requirements for farmers such as to have spark arresters and a 9 litre water extinguisher on tractors and machinery. It is illegal to operate welders and grinders on total fire ban days. If your farm is impacted by fire, you will need to respond extremely quickly to prevent the fire spreading. As you may not always be present, all who work on your property should know and understand your farm plan. In Victoria, you are legally required to control fires that start on your property, so make sure your firefighting equipment is maintained and checked regularly. Fires that start on your property must be reported by calling 000. Recovery. Think about who you would need to contact after a fire and make a note of their phone numbers in your plan. It is also useful to make a note of contact details for the local council, DPIV and others who may be able to help and provide support as your business recovers. Finally, think about terms of insurance options, terms in any shareholder or lease agreements and possible training options that may help you and your staff become more fire ready. Further information can be found here. This video has been presented by CFA and Dairy Australia.